Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Ashrafology. I make medicine related videos. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Anki so that you can optimize your learning and increase your memorization. Let's start. On your device, you're going to open your app store. Uh, in this case, I'm using an iPad and my app store is going to be the Apple app store. And in that, you're just going to search for Anki app. There are a lot of fake apps out there, but this is the one that you're looking for. Uh, we're going to open it up. I'm just going to show you what it looks like inside the app store. This is what the app should look like. And this is the app that you want to download. Obviously, I've already downloaded it. So I'm just going to uh, open it up on my iPad. And let's just dive into how to use Anki. When you open Anki up, this is kind of the basic interface that you have. At the lower left hand corner, you will see various options about adding decks and exporting collections. We don't need to worry about them. I will also be teaching you how to sync your Anki across various devices. Let's just start off with creating a basic deck. A deck is a place where all your cards are going to go. And for example sake, I'm going to be calling the deck Anatomy. When you click on the deck, it will show you that there are no cards or congratulations, you have completed the cards. That's because there aren't any cards in the first place. So I'm going to be teaching you how to create cards. If you click the right upper hand corner, you will have an overview of all the different type of cards there are. A basic card basically asks you the question at the front and at the back, the answer will be there for that question. For example, the question is follow me at and my page's name is Ashrafology. So the question is follow me at and the answer is Ashrafology. After you're happy with your card, click the save button. Now let's move on to close cards. Now close cards are a bit different. They're basically the question and the answer in the same text line. However, the answer will be hidden behind a text box. And I'll be teaching you how to make these fill in the blanks kind of cards using the close option within the Anki software. So you're going to highlight the word you want to be a fill in the blank and you're going to click this option. This is a close. Now when you save the card and when we go back, you'll see the cards that you made. Like I said before, at the front there will be the question and at the back there will be an answer. Now let's take a look at the close cards. A close card is basically the question and the answer within the same text line. I'll be teaching you what all these different colored time boxes mean. But first I want you to adjust the study options by clicking the gear icon in the right lower corner. When you click the study options, you'll be met with a variety of figures and boxes. But don't worry, I'll be teaching you how to adjust these for optimal memorization. Now I want you to copy what I'm doing. I've set the new cards at 999 and I've set the maximum number of reviews at 9999. That means you won't be missing out on any cards. I don't want you to mess with anything else. Let's go on to the new cards option. Like I said before, just copy me, write down 15M, 1D. Keep the graduating interval at 3 and you don't need to mess with the easy interval or the insertion order. Repeat the same for the lapses option, 15M, 1D and change the leash threshold to 4 and you don't need to mess with the minimum interval or the leech action. Moving on to display order. There are a variety of options here and just copy what I'm doing. For the gather order, set ascending position. For the sort order, set order gathered. For the new slash review order, you're going to show after reviews and for the interday learning or review order, show before reviews and you don't need to mess with the review or sort order. I won't be covering FSRS in this video as it's a little too advanced. I want you to get the basics of Anki first. Now scroll back up and click all the three options under the burying heading. Okay. And you don't want to mess with the audio. And here you can change the number of seconds that you are required for answering each question. I just keep this at default 60. You don't need to mess with auto advance and easy days. And you're going to scroll all the way down to advanced. You're going to keep the maximum interval as is and you're going to change the easy bonus to 1.50 and you're going to change the new interval to 0 0.20. Everything else remains the same. And now we have the optimum settings for memorization. Save the settings and let's move on. When you answer a flashcard, there are these multicolored timestamps below. I'll tell you what they mean. Starting with the red box. The red box says again and it shows 15 minutes. That means that you did not know the card and you will be seeing that card after 15 minutes. Now coming to the orange and green boxes. Both of them show one day. However, when you click one, the memory curve for each will be established separately. If you click the orange box, that means you knew the card, but you didn't know it very well and you will see it much more frequently in the upcoming days. However, if you click the green box, that means you knew the card well and you will be seeing less of the card in the upcoming days. Finally, if you click the blue option, which I hardly ever do unless it's very, very simple, that means you will see this same card after four days or five days. 
This basically means that you knew the card very well and you don't need to put a lot of effort into memorizing the same card again and again. I hope this clears up what these different color time boxes mean. But let's get a little bit more practice in so that you can run Anki completely on your own. Click that add option and let's create a couple more cards to make sure you're comfortable with Anki in the first place. I'm going to be talking about close ones and close twos now. Basically, you can create different fill in the blanks for that same statement, depending on what you want to memorize. For example, my Instagram page's name is Ashrafology that I'm going to click the close option for close one. And then I'm going to click Instagram for close two. See the C2? That's a close two. This means when I add the card, it will count as two cards. One will show my blank page's name is Ashrafology and one will show my Instagram's page name is blank. Now you can customize this by adding extra information into the back option and this will give you an extra kind of tidbit or factoid that you want to associate with the card that you've made. Let's see how this works. This is what the card is going to look like. The fill in the blank is over there and my extra bit of information is at the back. What you do with Anki is totally up to you. For example, I've added a picture of the osteolytic lesion seen in multiple myeloma. And at the front of the card, I'm going to ask myself, what is the diagnosis just from the x-ray alone? If I know the x-ray at the back, it will give me the answer that this is multiple myeloma. And you can do this both with basic cards and with close cards. Okay, so I'm going to be teaching you how to do this with close cards as well. You're going to take the same picture and you're going to add that the diagnosis is multiple myeloma, but like we've learned, we can create a fill in the blank by highlighting the text and clicking the close option. So the diagnosis is multiple myeloma. I'm just going to tidy this card up a bit and I'm going to ask myself that the diagnosis is multiple myeloma by making a fill in the blank. Now, uh, you're going to change the card type first, otherwise this won't work. And you want to highlight the text that you want to disappear and you're going to click the close option. Now we're going to save these cards and let's take a look at what they look like. So the front of the card gives me an X-ray and at the back we have the answer. Similarly, in the close option, we have a fill in the blank. I'm going to diagnose it based on the x-ray alone. And you can modify this by adding any piece of information that you think is relevant to the scenario. And when you take a look at the card, there will be that piece of extra information at the back. So that's basically how cards are made, how you create basic cards and how you create close cards. Now I'm adding a couple more decks just to get one more final practice with you guys so that you are experts of Anki yourself and that you can teach your fellow medical community on how to use Anki. And now I'm going to be teaching you how to add hints into Anki. Sometimes it's really difficult to memorize something and a small hint can really go a long way in terms of remembering the fact. Now, I'm going to type out a statement. For example, I'm going to say that vitamin B12 is deficiency can be differentiated from B9 deficiency by looking for neurological symptoms. But I don't remember what the question was asking or I don't remember the context in which the card was made. So, how do I give myself hints into answering this question? You're going to create a close and at the end of the close, you're going to add two double colons like I've shown before. And that hint is basically asking what system manifestations am I looking for? This will become clear when you take a look at that card. I'm just going to give myself a bit of extra information just so that I'm not confused. And we're going to save this card. Now, when you take a look at that card, the answer that you're looking for is hidden behind a hint. This will help you in answering cards much more efficiently. Now, to finish this video, I'm just going to teach you how to sync your cards across various devices. Open your browser and in the browser, you're going to type in Anki Web. And that's basically where you're going to create an account or sign up for an account in the first place. As I already have an Anki account, I'm just going to give you guys an example of what you're going to do and how you're going to sync the cards. You're going to add in your email address and you're going to type in a password and you're going to sign up for Anki Web. When you have created an account, it will send you a verification email and you're going to verify your account on Anki Web. After you have done that process, you're going to go back to Anki and put in the same login details that you use to sign up for Anki Web. When you log in and synchronize your cards, any device that have your email account saved will transfer the changes that you made from one device to another. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends so they can learn Anki as well. And it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment any confusion that you have, and I'll see you in the next one.